Peace, brothers and sisters. This is Dr. Siddiqui Che Baye, and I am an author of People Power and Raw Food for Thought. These are my uh, first two books, and I'm working on my third one. But as far as the books are concerned, I would like to speak to you in reference to culture. Now, culture is something that we need to know and understand. Now, culture is the customs, the arts and sciences, and the achievements of particular people or a nation of people. Now, culture will give you the ability to have clear direction and purpose in life. But unfortunately, we were given someone else's culture that is totally against us, and it caused us to act in a manner that is not really ours. And we are, and it, it caused us to really develop high emotions because we are totally confused of who we really are. We go into these people's schools and their jobs and all these institutions and so forth and so on, joining their clubs and all of this nonsense that is not for us. So we must know who we really are from a frame of reference of our elders and our ancestors. We have to truly focus on honoring and representing them because they deserve it. As a matter of fact, we are the ancestors. They are the ancestors on the spiritual and we are the ancestors having a human experience. Having a human experience, wow. We are the ancestors. So when we pray, we are only connecting with the spiritual ancestors to give them a reason to lead God, direct and protect us along the way. You can't fool energy, brothers and sisters, so we must make that connection. We must be intentional and deliberate in our efforts. Now, as far as us being here in this country, honoring somebody else's culture who dominated us, these immigrants, these white folks and all these other people who are really immigrants, we are actually, uh, actually acting in a manner that is totally against our culture and we must understand that and that's why we are so confused and so angry and taking it out on each other which is totally unfair and it is what it is you know some people might get disturbed about that but the truth can be painful but don't give in to the pain because on the other side of that pain is the blessings so the key to it all is to win we got to find a way to win brothers and sisters but winning comes through each other it takes a team effort. We are group-oriented people by nature. We are culture. And the, the words that are synonymous to culture is what? Civilization. Societies. That we can call our own. Now the enemy don't want you to know your culture. Why? Because if you know your culture, we wouldn't go for the okie doke. We wouldn't go for all this nonsense that we're going for today and we are losing our children. And we have the nerve to blame our children. We have to turn this thing around. We can we can no longer put the same ingredients in a bowl and think we're going to get something different. We're only fooling ourselves. I just want to let you know. We must find the individual reason for living. Each one of us. We have a reason for living. We're not just here. And so what is our purpose for being here is to make it better for each other and to prepare a place for those to come because they deserve it. We must make a smooth path for them that is better than what we had because the children are the little us. So don't let the little you down. We must do all we can to make a clear path for them so they won't be stumbling all over the place like we were stumbling. Every generation should get better. Now, let's find an uh, individual reason to be there for each other. We must develop relationship in the process of culture because this is a group thing. This is a, a people thing. This is a, a nation thing. This is a community thing, common unity. And they split us up because we don't have any unity anymore. We have a bunch of individuals that we call family. But we must understand a job has been done uh, against us by somebody else. 
But I just wanted to give you a little background on what culture is all about. But the main thing is let's show more love and respect for each other more than ever before. Now, I have here also, I would like for you to purchase my book, of course. <laughs> but at the same time, when you go on my site, I would appreciate it if you can push the like button. I would appreciate that. And also, the red button that will cause you to subscribe to my site. So we are in this thing together, brother, brothers and sisters. I'm just doing my part, doing all I can to make a difference. And so with that in mind, I pray that you have a great life. I like to say not only Happy New Year, but Happy New You. Let's go ahead on to the new year on the good foot, as James Brown said. But with that in mind, brothers and sisters, have a blessed life. I love you. I bless you. And I want you to prosper. Peace.